Hey Dennis. What? People were pretty upset in our last hot takes video. Do you think we should tone it down for the next one? <laughs> no. All right. I know you had this on here because this was kind of the whole point behind the video. Hot take, current racers suck across See, the board. I'm going to be more PC about it oh, and okay. say that I think I missed that generation of console in 64 that really brought out the kart racing the whole thing there because I never had an N64 growing up. And, and I'm going to be more honest about it and say we can't play versus games because We'll get a divorce. We can only play cooperative games that we play like versus games anyway. No, it's not even that. I, I look at kart racers and I'm like, I have zero interest of playing it. Does not yeah. interest me at all. It if I'm going to play a racing game, I'm going to play like real racing game, like cars, like real cars. Yeah. But you're not a Mario fanboy anyway, so those two things combined would never hook you. No, no. So that's kind of the reason for that. Hate oh, yeah. us in the comments below. Ooh. This one's gonna f*** me up? No, but I don't think you'll put this one on. YouTube resellers are masquerading as hunting channels. Not all hunting channels are resellers, but all resell channels are hunting channels. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Most of them don't have a whole lot of games fly on their channels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, maybe that's Maybe we're just not watching the right one. Yeah, and maybe that's our bias because yeah. we don't find any deals here. So maybe we're all butt hurting. Stuff. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. It's not to say we hate them. It's just saying it feels like it should be a different category. If you're not playing games on your channel, I'm personally not watching. Yeah, they usually tend to start branching out and buying things that are not video games. And I'm like, is this a gaming channel? T-shirts and whatever. <laughs> yeah, so that's when I start to think this is a different category altogether. Yeah. So not a gaming. That was a hot take. Hot take! Oh, this was a good one. I thought it might trigger some people. Ooh. Complete libraries are a waste of money and space. I have that same thing on here. And now the reason why I say I don't understand full set collecting is we had thought about doing it a couple of different times. OG o Xbox? OG Xbox was the first console we just- Because we have a lot of the heavies. Uh, yeah, we got all the heavies. So yeah. then it's like, okay, for just the amount of money we spent on the heavies, I could probably you know, complete yeah. the set. But we basically talked ourselves out of it. Like, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Why, why am I gonna put stuff in the game room just to say I have a full set? And a lot of it had to do with having a YouTube channel. Because there was a big thing where people had a goal of collecting a full set. The Wii U. Uh, I, yeah, so Wii, Wii U or whatever it was, they got a lot of traction at the time. And yes. I was like, well, geez, that would be nice to get a lot of traction like that, but I just can't justify it, I can't. No, and we're constantly thinning out the games because there's new games coming out yeah. and how much space do we have and do we want it to be cluttered in it's, here? No, because no, we no, enjoy no. coming into no. the rooms. I have a lot of games in here that I have not played yet. I try the game and it's like, oh, this is garbage. I'm not, I'm not keeping it. I don't no. keeping it. I don't care if it's valuable, I, I'm gonna trade it. Why would we have like, like, My Little Pony, Horsey has a fun day. Like, why would I? That's oh, not yeah. even a game, but no, like, why? I would, think there is a some stupid so ones stupid. There, but like, there. why? Why do we want that? I don't want to yeah. play it. You don't want to play it. I'm not going to buy it because it's an expensive game either. I'm never gonna play it. I yeah. don't want to have it. Sim games are stupid. <laughs> Ah, and I got no, not the Sim City, okay. like Power Wash Simulator. Stupid. Why? Why? Have you ever Power Washed something before? <laughs> People that talk to me about video games and they just talk to me about like, oh, I just want a game where I can go and explore. I'm like, go for a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I play papers, please, and I basically check documents, and you know what I was thinking the other night? Where we work, where we have to fix packages, and I have to check everything against everything else, and I was like, this is kind of like papers, please. So anyway, <laughs> and I, like I don't like doing that, I don't like being like so negative, but I, that's one genre of game, I'm just like, that's stupid. But when Power Wash Simulator, and we were on a live stream, and I'm not going to mention the channel, but we're up and down. He's, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. I'm like, <laughs> they might know when they, if they want. I'm like, hell no. I'm not. Have you ever power washed anything before? I'm like, 
I would say the game is probably better than having to do it because <laughs> you get a lot. I don't stuff, understand. I, I still wouldn't. Enjoy I don't the understand. Game I really don't understand. Whew. Okay, so we can agree. We can agree. Maybe. We can agree. Maybe. We're all gamers in here. Old. Most of us console gamers. We're all old. Okay. If gaming went all digital, I'd give up buying consoles and just get a PC. Because if I'm going to go digital, yep. I might as well do it the best way and get a PC. There's so many more indie games on there that we got to yep. wait to come to console. And honestly, Sony's putting a lot of their IP on the PC yeah, now. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They're... So why would I have a console? Why would I, I buy think, three consoles? I don't think these big... Uh... On the big three have given it a whole lot of like really deep thought of what would happen there. I think they have these grand idea of like having the Netflix of yeah. you know, consoles or where you, you can just get on there and stream your games or but their games are still expensive digital. And any person you talk to that is PC, they will tell you how cheap the games Wait are. Wait for Steam. it to go on a Steam sale. Yeah. But anyways, Whatever. at that point. I just become a PC gamer with a controller. I'm not doing that keyboard and mouse crap. I honestly think at that point you just play the games you have. I yeah, I play. We the have games. so many. We won't. I'm play I'm them already in our life, I've already had ready to dig my heels into the ground and say if the next Sony that, uh, PlayStation that comes out that is nothing but digital, I'm not spending my money. Yeah, it would be hard to justify it. No, I'm not buying the console. I'm yeah. not buying any just digital console. No. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm with you. I'd rather buy a PC. And that says a lot for me with a game full of rooms. Or a game full of rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to sound like Dennis there with a room <laughs> full of games. Me. Yeah. I'll just go down the list then. Sure. I like The Last of Us 2 better than 1. Oh! That doesn't mean I don't like The Last of Us 1. I love The Last of Us 1. I just... The Last of Us 2 pushed every... Emotion that you could possibly push. Yeah, yeah. Highs and lows, every which way. Mm -hmm. It was a roller coaster ride. All my emotions going up and down, and not knowing if I like this one or that one. I yeah. I never played a game that did that to me. Nope. And when we started playing as Abby, I was like, Oh, you were done. What is happening right now? Yeah. I'm like, Are we halfway through the game, and then we're playing her part for half? <laughs> I'm She's like, I'm not, devastated. I'm, I'm done. I'm, uh -huh. I'm so done. Uh -huh. On any given day, I can switch back and forth. I would be like, one's better, no two's better. 50% of the time, I'm with you there, so I get it. 50% <laughs> of the time. On any given day, I can switch back and forth. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I understand. I, I thought, you know, it's not a spoiler at this point, what they did at the first of the game. And honestly, you're not going to have a 70-year-old hero. So at some point, you got to pass the torch. That's why it, it hit so many nerves, it, because it was... Controversial. It was controversial, but it yeah. was like, it was well thought out. It was like, yeah. this guy is not friggin' Kratos. Or no, <laughs> he's not immortal. Like, yeah. he can't go on forever. You know, any show that was huge, like, let's take uh, The Walking Dead. Yeah, oh How my God. How many people they kill off? All of them. It All works, them. it works. Yeah. They, they get you attached to a character, and then they... <laughs> Yeah. And then it just spikes everybody's emotions. It gets them, you know, talking. I think the biggest downfall for that game is all the leaks. The leaks that happened right before. We got lucky, though, and didn't see any of them. No, I, yeah. I played it. We it's locked true. it down. Yep. Locked it down. Remember, I love you. Okay? <sighs> Most RPGs are just too long. Like, too long? Hey, why do they got to be so long? Well, I gotta play a game for 80 hours. What is this about? Like, I got things to do. I got other games to play. I don't want to play a game for 80 hours. That's too long. I know, there's so much t money for what you're getting in the game. No, it's too long. Stop that. <clears throat> it's too long. You know, I've thought about this a whole lot. Because you can play a game and you're like, I'm not done with the experience. Let me play for 20 more hours. I'm like, let this be done. But it's a style of game. It's, it is. Because yeah. honestly, I can name a couple right now. I will name one right now that was too long for what the game was. Alice Madness Returns. Ah, oh, dude. It was too long for that kind of game. Way too long. Way, way too long for what it was. It's like you took the knife I put in your back and threw it into my heart. Yeah. 2018 God of War. Too long. Too long for what it was. Horizon. 
I didn't play Horizon. <laughs> it was too long. <laughs> well, see, like it, I, games that overstay their welcome, yeah. Too but it, but if it's your genre, you love it, you you want it to be longer. Yeah. So I, guess. I know why you say that about RPGs, but then you have to realize, like. Somebody like me will say that to like a, a, a God of War clone. I don't want to Does play, not need to be 30 hours. I don't want to play a horror game though for 60 hours. Like well, no. that would be too long. No, that would be insane. Yeah. Right? So yeah. that, but, that, and that's my genre. Yeah. So I, well, I say that, but Metroidvania is quickly becoming better for me. So. <laughs> There's another spicy one. Spicy! The YouTube <laughs> community oh. are like high schoolers. And the reason why I say that is it's a popularity contest. It is! It is. We've had multiple experiences because we've uh, we've been on YouTube for five years. We don't have the same ambitions as other people that want to make it their, their, their job, yeah. their career. Yeah, which is fine. That's, fine. That's fine. It's all fine. But we've seen more than once where we're bef befriended by a smaller channel on their trying to work their way up and then once they surpass it's ghost and more than once more than once yeah. and i'll just leave it at that yeah that's that's all we need to say about yeah. that yeah i got some spicy ones where are you bringing the heat Jenny? i know i didn't bring any heat bring no heat at all i get personal yes you did <sighs> not my spiciest take of the whole thing but a pretty spicy take nonetheless Games are meant to be open and played, not sealed and sitting on a shelf. I see it everywhere on YouTube where they're mm -hmm. keeping a game sealed, they're keeping a game sealed, they're keeping a game sealed. You realize that the games from, you know, the 90s, even 2000, yeah. that were sealed and are worth a lot of money now is because there are not many of them. You know how many sealed games there are now on the Switch? It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. They're yeah. not going to be worth much more. They'll, they'll be worth a little bit more, but not, not much. much more. Not and much to, for you to justify buying the game twice to be able to play. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it just goes back to being... It, it's a, it, it's like a future reseller mentality. It, that's what it feels yeah. like. And maybe that's because that's not our mindset now. I could see it if you had a game and you absolutely loved it. Yeah. Adore that game. Love it. Then go out and buy another copy sealed. Maybe even a collector's edition. Yeah. Sealed. Perfect. But every single game, like we do have yeah. a few. We don't have Got many, but we do have a few. And the reason is because they were either memorable or something you're not going to find sealed and it's a piece of history yeah. and we're not looking to resell it. There's yeah. no, oh, no, no future profit for this. No. It's it's just purely because it's nostalgia. It's, it's like a piece of history, kind of. If we could go around the room and do a sealed game video. Oh, we haven't played them yet then. Yeah. There, that would be it. Uh, it. Modern games, if we haven't played them, we've got a bunch of flack They're on not staying sealed. PS5 collection video that we, ah, don't leave your game sealed. We don't. It's just, I can look at the shelf and say, oh, I haven't played that one. Yes. I'll go grab it. And, and I opened two games last week. Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, and Curse of the Moon 2. I opened them both up. I got them yeah. from Siege. It's fun. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Try it. It's fun. Yeah, do it. I'll come to your house and open all your games. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about most Nintendo mascot games. I don't. I really don't. And anytime I see anything that involves Mario or any of them, I'm like, nah, I don't care. Do you think it's because I'm it old? comes off a little juvenile to you and you're kind of past that? Probably. Yeah, but it's like a stuffed animal kind of deal. Like I was I never that into anymore. that, though. No, you weren't. Nope. So you were always I... like a hateful grown-up. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I had Super Mario 3, and I played it, and when I played it, and I beat it, and I was I was done with it at that point. Yeah. But I would always go back to Double Dragon, and I was always going back to Jackal. Yeah. You know, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. You know, yeah. Those kind of games, but the Super Mario games, they just didn't, they don't do it for me. Yeah, no you're much. not a much of a first-party Nintendo fanboy at all. Not at all. Fanboy at not, all. Not at all. We'll get the new Super Mario... Wonder. Super Mario. The only reason I'm interested in that... It looks like Super Mario. It's a four-player. Yeah. Uh, new Super yeah. Mario Bros. on the Wii. We I have a blast that. playing it four player. I can't sit there and just play no, you're not, Super you're Mario by myself. No, you're never going to play it by yourself. Never. No. It's fun to kill your friends in the room. I was not saying, like I said before, it's not saying that the games are crap. It's just that uh, I'm They're interested not, in. Yeah, if you love those games, more power to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I mean, I've played Yoshi's Crafted World. I've played a uh, You all like those the kind of games, games way more than me. I don't tend to buy into a like a mario game though like i don't go for mario i go yeah. for his like you know 
lesser known friends. You know what I mean? Like here's a Yoshi. Luigi's crafting. Mansion. Yeah, was Luigi's awesome. Mansion was awesome. Luigi's Mansion was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But that was his brother, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's your last hot take? My last hot take might infuriate some people. Me? No, you won't care. Okay. Final Fantasy VII wouldn't make my top 10. Oh, I don't RPGs. even think it would make your top 20. In my RPGs. That being said, I feel like you robbed yourself of a good experience playing it on the Switch with the fast forward feature. I've played uh, Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, and 7. And to be quite honest, I'm not a huge fan of the series yet. I have yet to find that Final Fantasy game that just hooks me. So please, in the comments, tell me, this game should hook you. Go for it. I've heard, you know, our two, our, our three, which is four and six. And yeah. I've heard, uh, I don't know if it was nine or 10 or possibly both. I heard 16 was really good. That's a completely different thing. You're gonna that, get yeah. riled all up about that because it's a completely different kind of game. Yes, and honestly, I really just want you to have a better experience of Final Fantasy VII and play the remake. Because the remake I will. was amazing. I will. I loved it. I'll get to it. I really enjoyed Final Fantasy VII, the original, but I, I loved it. I don't know if I'm going to play it this year or not. Yeah. I may end up playing Unicorn Overlord. Instead. Of course, every time I mention it to him, he's like, I'd rather play something else. I'm like, oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> you haven't played Rebirth yet. Shut your mouth. I can't get to the TV, you keep game you're playing is modern mr retro gamer all your modern get you're literally playing nothing but like ps5 and no. ps4 Go. no she's the last i played a 360 game last and then i've played sea of stars the source i'm playing everything. yeah i'm almost done you're almost done i don't want to finish that i know all right that's our hot takes let us know what your hot takes are. Feel very <laughs> free to hate us in the comments. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, don't worry, Jen. You're going to get some comments. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you have some hot takes of your own and you want to put them down there, let us know if you want to make a video. You, go yeah, ahead and go do ahead that. and put that, your hot take in the comment yeah. section. Draw some fire away from yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deflect, deflect, yeah. deflect. Or make a video and really deflect. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on now. Be a pal. Anyways, until next time. I don't understand how people get upset if you don't have the same opinion as them. It's not wrong. It's just a different opinion. And if it offends you, well, who gives a shit?